Welcome to Everything's Funny at 3 a.m. My name is Yogg, and this is the first edition of something I like to call Yogg's Corner. Well, there's a chill in the air. Last year's candy corn has been dusted off and put back on the store shelf, and everything's beginning to taste a little bit like pumpkin. What does that mean? It's Halloween! Kids are dressing up like their favorite ghouls and ghosts. Women are dressing up the way I wish they would dress all year long. And lazy dateless 20-somethings are spending their nights watching bad 80s slasher flicks and playing horror games. Now this season, YouTube has been inundated with a ton of playthroughs for great horror games like Outlast and Amnesia Dark Descent, but I thought it would be fun to tell people about one of my favorite horror games growing up, Uninvited for the NES. Jesus thing used to scare the crap out of me when I was a kid. But I'm a grown man now. I can buy beer, vote, and watch anything I damn well feel like at the movie theater. Hell, I could eat an Arch Deluxe over at McDonald's if, you know, they still had those and anyone knew what I was talking about. Anyway. It's time to put on my man pants and play this game the way all alpha males should, in the dark. Let's do this. Well, maybe nostalgia is affecting me a little more than it should. Let's, uh, let's just keep the lights on for a little bit longer as we get a little deeper into the game. Uninvited is a classic point-and-click adventure game where you play an unnamed guy, at least I think you're a guy, who wakes up after a car crash to find his big sister missing. Narrowly missing out on becoming a faceless protagonist flambe when your car blows up behind you, you find yourself outside a creepy mansion and somehow jump to the conclusion that your sister has gone inside. Because, you know, that makes sense. After looking around and learning some magic spells, you walk into another room and- Oh hey! There's someone else here! Maybe she can help you find your sister! Excuse me miss, could you have? OH HOLY JESUS! DAMN IT GAME! I'm gonna need something else to help me beat this. But what? I need some kind of trump card. An edge, a trick up my sleeve. Some sort of... advantage. Wait, this is a point and click game, and well, this isn't going to help at all. Even if you have some kind of trick up your sleeve, you're going to spend most of this game dying. You see, this house is actually a battleground between two wizards, the evil Drakan, and another wizard known only as the Master. When the battle was over and the dust finally settled, the Master was dead, Drakan was frozen in a giant block of ice, and the house had pretty much turned into the mystical equivalent of Chernobyl. Now the mansion is filled with all manner of ghoulies, ghosties, and long legged beasties that want to kill you in horrible, horrible ways. At least, uh, most of them do. Some of them... Do... that. Yeah. Your only hope for survival is to use the items you find around the mansion to locate Drakan's body and end this evil once and for all. By throwing his fat frozen ass down a bottomless pit. There are only two problems with that. First, you're not going to know which items you need and which ones you don't without looking at a walkthrough. Some of the items you can only use once, a few like the matches and keys you use multiple times, and others like the towels, pillows, and bowls that you find in almost every room you don't even need to pick up at all. I still did, though. Hell, this place wrecked my car. You better believe I'm going to try to recoup some of my expenses by selling all this stuff at the first pawn shop I can find. The other problem is that instead of working within the realm of normal common sense, Uninvited runs on 90s adventure game logic. How are you supposed to work out that the only way to get past the servant's ghost is by chucking the paralyzed spider at him? Or that the way to get the key from the dancing plush toys is to give him a cookie that you can only get by opening a wall safe in a room guarded by Tesla death balls and a rejected blue meanie? The only way you can figure this out is by trial and error, which means you're gonna die. A lot. Looks like it's time for a DEATH MONTAGE!
To its credit, the game never feels like it's being unfair. Okay, it mostly never feels like it's being unfair. Hell, there's a few points where the game tries to warn you away from making fatal mistakes. It never completely blocks you from doing them, so you can still reenact the Shelob scene from Return of the King if you really, really want to. But after you get yourself murdered, you can still get back into the action pretty quickly, even if you haven't saved in a while. Just hit continue and the game starts you pretty much where you left off. You can even have some fun killing your character in inventive ways, like using the axe or the knife on yourself, or drinking the bottles of various fluids you find while you're wandering around. The game can start to feel a little tedious with all the backtracking and the rubbing things on other things in a vain attempt to keep the story moving along. And don't even get me started on the maze. Sheesh. But you can keep yourself amused by reading the detailed flavor text that almost every object in the game has, or by enjoying what is in my opinion one of the best NES soundtracks out there. But yawg, some of you are asking, how does the game end? You don't really save the world by throwing a corpsicle down a well, do you? Yes. Yes you do. But that's not really the end of the game, is it? You still have to find your sister. After melting the giant underground glacier and heaving Drakan's body into the nearby abyss, you hear what sounds like your sister screaming from upstairs and you rush to go save her. After you flood the upstairs bathroom to reach the secret door hidden by the ceiling light, adventure game logic, just go with it, you find your sister slumped against the wall, grinning and making weird noises. Looks like five fingers to the face is the only way to solve this puzzle. No, seriously. The only thing that you can do here is sucker punch your sister. Which ends up freeing her from a demonic entity now wearing her like a cheap suit. Splash the demon with some holy water that you found, and you win the game. Then for some reason you're treated to this weird winking Polaroid of your sister with a heart next to it. Huh. Well, maybe the game takes place in Alabama? All in all, Uninvited is a solidly fun adventure game and still one of my favorites for the NES. It can't stand up against newer horror games, but it still has a few scares and I can think of worse ways to spend an afternoon. Well, that's all for me on this All Hallows Eve. Like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed the show, and be sure to join me on the next Yogg's Corner here at Everything's Funny at 3am. Until next time.